Okay, I'm just adding this in to show what I've done. Um, this right here in the back is actually an 8 amp power supply AC to DC. Um, it's actually fed off the generator input. And once it gets AC in, you get DC out. You can use uh, that power supply from miscellaneous stuff. Alright, now to activate the relays, once the DC power comes out, it goes up here to the delay board, which I've got set at 10 seconds. I also added a power switch in case I just want to run that, which is a 60 amp uh, charger for all my batteries. Okay, in the event I just want to run the generator to charge my batteries, I can actually turn this board off and use this plug in right here and plug my charger in the side of that so when the generator is running it'll power this and then power my charger and I can leave my inverter on um, of course the transfer switch won't won't transfer with this off which it's worked out it's done pretty good if I want to take the load off the inverter and let the batteries charge faster all I gotta do is flip that switch right there um, this has turned out to be a pretty neat outfit I do like it and as you can see I also added a uh, breaker in case of an overload which hasn't happened um, but it's a safety precaution um that's pretty much it now that 8 amp power supply is overkill um but you know recently i just thought of a uh a little add-on that i could do maybe a one or 200 watt inverter to do a double conversion now if if i do that i'm definitely gonna need that 8 amp power supply um the double conversion will actually eliminate power going into the relays from the generator itself. It'll be more stable power, and the generator can just focus on powering whatever I'm running in the house. And that's it. Um, anyway, hope you found this useful. Have a good day.